Recently, we posted a video about a new Focal closed back headphone called the Focal Celeste. Originally, Focal had intended to also launch a new open back headphone shortly after the Celeste, so we considered waiting and doing one video about both of them. But it's a good thing we did not wait because that open back headphone launch was postponed for a month, so it was just released this week. And that's the headphone we're talking about today the new open back Focal Clear MG. The Focal Clear MG replaces the very popular Focal Clear that was launched in 2017. And as successful as that original Clear has been, Focal is being very smart to make sure to refine a proven formula without overhauling it. Now let me fast forward to my conclusion. There's nothing about the Focal Clear MG's performance or sound signature that is not an improvement on the original. And I can't imagine that anyone who loves the Clear will do anything but love the new Clear MG even more. If you're familiar with Focal's headphones, you'll know upon first listen that the Focal Clear MG's progenitor is unabashedly the Focal Clear. So what is that formula? Well, we posted a video about the Focal Clear back in 2017 at its launch. We'll put a link to it in the description below and in the accompanying forum post. Now much of what was said then still applies to the MG. To make a long story short, that formula is, as these headphones names suggest, neutrality. And as I've said before, I feel that neutral isn't one particular signature, but really more of a range. There's a range of neutrality. And while there are a good number of headphones that exist within that range, the Focal Clear and now the Focal Clear MG are among the rare ones that, to my ears, hit that range pretty dead center. And as I said, the MG does it better. Now, you already know my conclusion, and I'll get back to the sound of this headphone momentarily, but at this point, I want to discuss one of the most key changes with the MG, its new magnesium driver. The original Focal Clear, like several of its siblings, used a driver dome made of solid aluminum magnesium. It was an aluminum magnesium alloy that was more than 90% aluminum with some magnesium. The Clear MG, as its name makes no surprise, uses a solid magnesium dome. Apparently though, magnesium can't be used on its own, so the Clear MG's driver uses a carefully engineered coating on both sides of its solid magnesium dome. I want to make clear, this is solid magnesium with coatings on either side, not a polymer substrate doped with vapor deposited magnesium. When I asked Megan Montabanel at Focal what led them to a solid magnesium dome, she said that the research and development department is always working on and evaluating new materials. And when they tested solid magnesium, it was an obvious upgrade. So they decided to move forward with its development and after extensive reliability testing, the Clear MG was born. As for magnesium, it has rigidity that's comparable to aluminum. Yet the Clear MG's dome is lighter than even the beryllium dome of their flagship Stelia and Utopia models. Now this chart from one of Focal's launch videos shows the density comparison of beryllium, magnesium, aluminum, and titanium. Also, Focal uses their lightest, most compliant surround around the Clear MG's lightweight magnesium dome, which they say results in improved dynamics and a more impactful sound. Additionally, Focal took their most acoustically open headphone design, the Clear, and made it even more open with the Clear MG. For the Clear MG, Focal developed a new inside grille that's far more open. And the new hexagonal honeycomb pattern on the Clear MG's outside grille is also more open than the Clear's outside screen type grille. Focal says this further opening of the headphone improves the extension in the high frequencies and reduces dynamic compression. Getting back to its sound, again the Clear MG was tuned to have the same sound signature as the Clear, but with improved details and dynamics. Since its release in 2017, the original Focal Clear served as one of my neutral reference over ears, one of my sonic palate cleansers, able to realign and recenter my ears. While I've never found the Focal Clear sterile or cold, and it's certainly less emphasized in the treble than the Focal Utopia, I still found the original Clear's treble to be just about at my limit for treble presence or emphasis, without crossing that boundary like the Utopia's treble sometimes does with me. Still though, when it comes to treble, I don't necessarily want to always run that close to my ceiling. And this is where the new Focal Clear MG has its most important refinement to me, in the treble range. The Focal Clear MG's treble is everything the Clear's is, but better. It's more organic, smoother, and in direct comparison to the Clear, less metallic to my ears. And still the Clear MG manages to extract more treble detail and air from my music than the Clear. And it never has what I describe as unnatural bite, even though it's still a touch on the brighter side of my personal preference. Now I really love what Focal has done to refine the Clear's treble presence with the new Clear MG. 
The other key improvement that comes with the MG is a fuller tonal balance than the original clear, which I think is partially due to the MG's smoother treble, shifting the spectral tilt so that there is comparatively a touch more body with the MG. I think something that also helps is the clear MG's livelier, more impactful overall presentation. I tend to listen at lower volume levels, and sonic image objects at quieter listening levels have more jump with the Focal Clear MG, just more vitality. Like its predecessor, the Focal Clear MG has a nominal impedance of 55 ohms and is reasonably easy to drive. I've used it mostly with the FIO M15 portable digital audio player and the Cord Electronics Hugo TT2, and the Clear MG's undemanding drive requirements make it comfortable with either. Now it should be an easy drive for just about anything a head fire will normally plug their headphones into. I can't end this without mentioning the Focal Clear MG's design and styling because frankly it in my opinion might be one of the most attractive headphones ever made. I don't think I need to do much more than show you our photos of the Clear MG. Focal describes its aesthetic as a chestnut color scheme with a mixed metals finish. To my eyes it's a gorgeous coffee type color with an absolutely striking contrasting silver honeycomb outer grille. As is expected from Focal, the materials, the metal, the leather, the microfiber have a look and feel that's decidedly premium. The Focal Clear MG also comes with two cables, a short 1.2 meter mini plug terminated cable with quarter inch adapter and a 3 meter 4 pin balanced XLR cable. It also comes with Focal's outstanding form fitted zip up carrying case in a gorgeous matching colorway. Simply put, like I said earlier, there's nothing about the Focal Clear MG's performance, sound signature, or styling that is not an improvement over the original Clear. Updating and replacing a wildly popular legendary headphone is always challenging, but Focal did it the right way with the MG. At this point, let's take a look at some measurements of the new Focal Clear MG. All of these measurements were made using the Bruin Care 5128, which is the most human-like hearing simulator available and the only hearing simulator that simulates average adult human hearing across the entire audio band. Our audio analyzer is the Audio Precision APX 555. Of course, the measurement we have to start with is the Focal Clear MG compared to its predecessor Focal Clear. As you can see, the family resemblance is unmistakable, as are the refinements in the treble range. As for comparing total harmonic distortion, or THD, it's essentially a draw, both having extraordinarily low THD for electrodynamic headphones. Here's the frequency response of the Focal Clear MG compared to the Focal flagship Utopia. I unequivocally prefer the tonal balance of the Clear and Clear MG to the Utopia, which for my tastes is a bit too lean, a bit too bright. That said, there's no question that the Utopia is the more resolving headphone. But then again, there aren't too many headphones that can out-resolve the Utopia. Since the Bruin Care 5128 is still quite new to this community, I want to show you the Focal Clear MG frequency response versus a headphone many of you are quite familiar with the sound of, and that's the Sennheiser HD650, just to give you something very familiar to compare to. And here's the Focal Clear MG compared to the Sennheiser HD800S. I hope I've given you some sense of what to expect from the new Focal Clear MG. Thanks for watching this episode of HeadFi TV. I'll see you next time and on the forums at headfi.org.